Hello, I'm Paul Ferguson. With me is Richard Beaupre. Welcome once again to Bern, Switzerland for this game between Sweden and Canada. We are live. The game has just started. The Canadians with Tockett moving right in on goal are playing from right to left. No score in the game. Offside is the call here in the opening few seconds. This is the last game of the tournament. And a couple of medals hinge on this one. If the Canadians win it, they'll pick up the bronze. If the Swedes win it, they'll get silver. Get up that puck, Rick. Canadians are pumped up for this one. They don't want to come this distance and not pick up a medal. Juice gets that one over to the far side and the Swedes now working in on the Canadian goal. McLean between the pipes for Canada. Sean Ver racing towards that position in front of the net. Sutter hammers himself into the boards and gets up slowly. Coming back now, Carlson dropping it back to the point. Sweden going right in, taking out the top of the circle in Canada with Burr. Going after that was Gilmore. And now Sweden with Carlson again. The long shot. Kicked into the corner. McCoon picks it up for Canada. McCoon. Looking along the wing to Acton. Gets it back. Cullen flips it to the far side. McKinnis, the long shot into the corner. They're firing that puck into the corner and then looking for the rebound to give them something to go for as McKinnis circles. A lot of dump and run from the Canadian style of play. Acton right in front of the goal. And the Swedes quick to react with Sturmvall. Sturmvall with Rufa. Drop back. The Canadians are there. Acton pumps that forward. Cullen. Recky. Recky has been playing off and on for the Canadians throughout this tournament. Breaking hard is Bellows. Right in front of the net. Bellows tried to lift up the stick. The play is allowed to continue. Elderbrink. Dropping it back. Hack and Louvre on the backhand shot. Into the corner. Coffee is there to wrestle his man to the ice. Nielsen stops and starts. Iserman now for Canada. The wrist shot right on goal. Adams is there looking for the rebound. Good stuff from the Detroit Red Wing star. Well, I wonder where he's from. There you see Eiserman on the break. Erickson doing all he can do to get back into it. Ritterwall forced to make the save. He hangs on for the faceoff. Steve Eiserman, of course, very quick to break down that wing. Leading goal scorer in this tournament. He's a man to be watched. An excellent crowd here in Bern, Switzerland for this final game. They really have seen some good hockey throughout the entire tournament. We saw the Soviets earlier on take the gold against Czechoslovakia not a great performance from the Czechs by any means that shot coming from Erickson from way back at the point I have a feeling this one is going to be a bit easier to watch a lot more exciting I feel Nilsson doing some great stick handling as he that one was intercepted Samuelson the race is on he takes his man down as Iserman Adams goes in the corner with Erickson. Erickson comes up with it and fires it to the blue line. Both teams changing on the fly. Clipped into this corner. Adams for Canada. Brings it out of the zone. Adams being shadowed by Runkfist. Runkfist won't leave him alone. Some good stuff by Adams though to keep it going. Juice goes after him. Clears the puck away. And Sweden now try to bring it out. Tockett misses a check there. Rungfist slows it down on the blue line, gets the pass over to the center ice, and the Swedes flip it into the zone, but it goes into the crowd. We'll have a face-off here in the first period. 
no score between Canada and Sweden. Look once again at Iserman. So quick, heads up at all times. Very strong on that puck. He comes over the blue line. Some of the crowd reacted uh, for a penalty on the next time he had the puck, but uh, the referees waved it off. Eklund. Headmanning the puck into the zone. Offside is the call. said it before there's a lot of colorful characters here in Bern Switzerland they've come with their banners their horns their drums their colorful t-shirts and of course the war paint Eklund the long pass taken out of the blue line the Canadians with green tapping it forward to number 16 Craven he runs into trouble McKinnis comes to the rescue, going in the corner now is Fleury. Fleury getting it over to Tockett. Tockett bounces it off the boards, back to Craven. They really have mixed up these lines a lot. Dave King looking for the perfect combination. Eklund backhands that, that took a deflection. The shot came out from Green. That one uh, bounced in the corner now at the other end of the rink. McKinnis, as we approach the six minute mark, Garpenlov taken off the puck. McKinnis shoots it away from him. Craven almost gave that away right in front of the net. Green picks it up, gives it back to Craven. A long pass goes off a stick. That goes down the ice. Elderbrink gets the touch. Icing is the call. Tommy Sandlin there must be happy with his team's form. The Canadians first coming into this round, second offensively and fourth defensively. Last game, a 7-1 hammering to the Soviet Union, but they beat the Swedes 3-1 last time out. The Canadians really have slipped defensively. They were undefeated coming into this medal round. And it looked like they may be giving the Soviets problems. Now they're going to wrestle and fight for bronze. Erickson flips it away to the far side. The Canadians forechecking quickly here in this first period. McCoon takes his shot, and that takes a deflection. McCoon gets it back. Another shot. Misses the near side post. Trying to get that one in front, that goes to the side. Gilmore was there doing some good work, but Ritterwall pounced on it at the side of the cage. Excellent crowd here in Bern to attend this match between Sweden and Canada. The drums, the flags, they've got it all. The Swedes are well supported, and the Canadians are here too in their numbers. From the faceoff, Ericsson picks it up. Being shadowed on the play, Ericsson has problems bringing it out. Recky was all over him. The Swedes looking for that quick break up the middle. Canadians are closing it down. That's a long bouncer. Lidster goes back for it. Gets it by Svensson. A nice little pass up. Cullen couldn't hang on to it. Acton goes after it in the corner. Being shadowed by Erickson. Erickson pins him against the woodwork in the sunlight. The slap shot right in front. Cullen got a piece of that. The Canadians with some good pressure here in the first few minutes of this period. John Cullen had that one well teed up. There you see the play coming out from the corner. The big wind up, the deflection helps Ritterwall out in that situation. Off the netting, he makes a catch.
Well, that's the kind of thing you expect from a goalie at this level. He's got to be quick to react from shots from all angles, but when it comes off the plexi, he's got to grab it too. Anderson by Coffey. Coffey gets it from McInnes. Taps that forward to Adams. Heiserman skated over the line and Juice shot it out. The Swedes now breaking quickly. Bellows comes back for it. Rungfist taken out of the plate. Nilsson is along the boards and Juice fires it in. McKinnis tells the goalie McLean that he's got it. A giveaway there to Lube. Lube to Nilsson. Nilsson couldn't contain that. It was bobbling, but he still has the puck to the far side. The shot comes in. Nilsson couldn't get it away again, and Bellows backhands it out of the zone. Adams will go after this. Anderson gets to it first, and the Canadians were under pressure there as Coffey picks it up. Adams taps that one forward. There's no one there to pick it up this time. Eisenman has it, takes a shot. Offside is the call. Eisenman didn't want to be touched on that play. He was annoyed at the call. Let's see how close it was. Good call. It was offside. The player was trapped in the zone when the puck went over. It's difficult to see when you're out there on the ice and you're skating at considerable speed. Tips that one forward to Elderbrink. Elderbrink shoots it along the boards to try to keep it out of the zone, but Craven taps it back into the corner, looking for the return pass. Craven is right there in front. The net is wide open. The back shot coming from Fleury. The backhand shot just didn't get off the ice. Fleury loses control along the boards to Elderbrink. Puss gets it over to Elderbrink. The shot, the save is there. Fleury goes in to tip it away. Eklund got a piece of it. Eklund now still skating with it as the whistle blows. So some good action at both ends. Flurry forward to try to put the puck in the Swedish net and then back to help out McLean. There's that action in that Swedish zone. Murray Craven just trying to find the handle on that one. Flurry comes across. He can't get it either. Elderbrink doing a good job helping Ritterwall out. Play quickly went the other way. Swedes had a good chance of their own. McLean made a nice save. The deflection helped him out there as it went off the Canadian defenseman's stick on the rebound. Craven deep in his own zone. Tries to get that along the boards to Flurry. It didn't come off. Carlson tipped it back in and Craven will start again. Lidster for Canada. Taken out along the boards. Craven goes in to help him against Erickson. And the Canadians now breaking strong. Fleury looking for someone to pass to. Takes the sharp angled shot. Carlson drops it back. The shot right on the target. Clean got a piece of that. And the crowd are loving this one. Action at both ends. This is the kind of stuff we love to see. Fleury slows it down. Tips it into the zone. Going back for it is Juice. Sutter falls again in that corner. Gilmore gets it to Sutter. Going after him is Svensson. Burr is there to help out. Gilmore being challenged by Svensson again. He's all over him. Sutter with Juice on his back. Some good stuff in the corner from both teams. Cleared into the circle and the Swedes are there and they break with three. Anderson getting it over. Rupa is trailing in front of the net, can't pick it up, and McCoon shoots it away. Sutter along the boards. Anderson got it forward to Juice. Midway point here in the first period. No score. Rupa doing some good job, uh, or doing a good job of forechecking. Grecki. Samuelson, backhander along the boards, finds its way all the way down the ice. McCoon drops that one off. Green for Canada, up to the blue line. 
That goes over the boards. Cullen was right there, and uh, we'll have a face-off. Well, it's unusual that they're not asking for money. It's usually, hi, Mom, hi, Dad, love you, send money. A lot of kids at this tournament. Well-behaved, really have enjoyed this one throughout. Coming up to the 11-minute mark in the first period. Still no score as McCoon gets it over to the far side and gets it back. Shoots it forward to Adams. To Ritterwald. Lube picks it up in the circle. Lube. Still Lube. Dropping it off now. Back to Samuelson. He tees it up. Takes the shot. That went high and eventually came down. As the whistle blew. Another face off. Samuelson took too long to get that one off. Good pass from Nilsson. Everyone was expecting him to shoot. He threw it over to the other side. The crowd's anticipating something to happen here very quickly. Adams. To give away to Samuelson. All the way deep into Swedish territory. Eldebrink. Time behind the net to set this one up. The pass right on the blue line. Rungfist is checked. Someone there to help him out in the shape of Hacken Lube. Lube going forward with Nilsson. Tapped off his stick. Elderbrink picks it up. Back into the Canadian zone. The Swedes getting a change on the fly. A long pass to center. Both teams looking to just dump it in and go as Ericsson gets it on the blue line to the far side. Drop back the shot. They score! Well, that looks so innocent. And the Swedes have drawn first blood here in the first period. They go to Garfinlov. Both teams have just gotten a change. The Canadians still in the middle of one. Drop pass. Johansson's going hard for the net. Samuelson just takes a quick shot. It's by Lidster, Coffey, and McLean. Goal number one. Everyone seemed a bit shocked at that one. Well, at times, I think it's fair to say that the Canadian goalkeeping has been suspect. And once again, we're not too sure about that one. Craven... Tries to keep it in the zone, and the Swedes come back. They're leading by one. The shot coming from Anderson. As he's taken out of the play in the corner, Fleury is there to help out. Push back to McLean. Lidster picks it up. Bounces that off the boards, down the ice. Juice will pick it up for Sweden. Shadowed by Craven. Carlson, a shot right on the goal. McLean makes a save and gives Coffey the touch. Flurry. That's a giveaway there. And that one went right to the far side of the net. Carlson was quick to react. Craven with the offside pass. And the Canadians caught flat footed in their own zone. Good job of four checking by Patrick Erickson. Carlson with a good opportunity. Well, going into the medal round, the Swedes were third. Offensively, they're third. Defensively, they're second. Last game out, 5-5, that incredible comeback by Czechoslovakia. And the loss to Canada, 3-1. So the Swedes have been, I guess you could say, fairly consistent throughout. They've looked strong, and right now they're looking good. They're outskating the Canadians at the moment. The better the play has been going at McLean. The Canadians started quickly as Burr goes after it this time. Takes his man out, which is Samuelson. Gilmore tried to hold that along the boards with the body. Stop it from going out, but it didn't. McLean pushes it by McInnes. Sutter comes up with it, and Green will have to handle it now. Green for Canada. With Burr on the wing, Burr picks it up, taps it out into center. That was a nice play by him. 
Offside is the call as Sutter broke quickly right over the blue line. Canadians looking to make that Swedish defense back off. A couple of long passes there. They've been caught for some two-line offsides. There's a look at that one. Quick pass off the boards from Sean Burr. Sutter's trying to get behind the Swedish defenseman, but he's already well off that blue line. Ron Sutter's offsides. Look at Dave King on the bench. Still going out that chewing gum. He can give it a rest after today. 1-0 the score here in the first period. Sweden over Canada. A long, long way to go. Eriksson gets it back. Shoots it to the far side. Svensson. And the Canadians losing their checks at center. Burr eventually gets it inside the blue line. Comes down. He's got McCoon on the wing here. McCoon will go over and pick this one up. The Canadians have it in the zone. The shot goes off a pad into the far corner. The Swedes pick it up. Hack and Lou taps it as far as Runkvist. Runkvist to the far side. There always seems to be a winger open over there. Nilsson slams on the brakes. Looks for Runkvist, but that didn't come off. And the whistle blows. Penalty on the plate. Canadians trying to get a quick break. Hacking Lube, Nilsson trying to do their own thing, coming into the zone. There you see Al McKinnis sitting down for slashing. Making a comment that we can uh, add the last bit of that. It had something to do with Pee Wee hockey. There you see Nilsson getting chopped by McKinnis just inside the blue line. Al McKinnis, of course, not happy with that call. McKinnis will sit for two. Of course, he's used to getting away with things like that in the National Hockey League with Calgary. Again, we'll leave it to you to decide. I didn't think it was that bad. The Canadians get it down the ice. Sweden with the man advantage now. Bring it out. Eklund to the far side. Lidster goes after his man. The Canadians struggling to get it over the blue line with Bellows out there. 1.30 remaining on the penalty. Five minutes left on the period. Sweden moving forward over the red line. Some good back checking there by the Canadians. Gilmore. McCoon. Picked up by Johansson. Dropped off into the corner. Eriksson. Back on the defense. Eriksson now. Shoves that into the corner. Erickson again with Garpenlov. Garpenlov has time to shoot. That took a deflections right beside the net. Lidzer goes after his man, Johansson. Erickson tees it up, takes the shot. The save is there. 45 seconds now as Acton clear that one down the ice for Canada. Some good pressure from Sweden. Nilsson skates by that. He's out there with uh, Lou. Elderbrink gets it forward. And the Swedes once again come on the attack. Runkfist. Runkfist works into the slot. Handed that one off. Nilsson took the shot. Back to Samuelson. The one-timer. The save is there. The puck is down. Nilsson is there. Scores! Oh, that was so pretty. Nilsson was parked on the open corner and he made no mistake. Kent Nilsson, one of the top goal scorers in this tournament. There's the replay. Elderbrink with the big shot from the point. The rebound doesn't come off. Pack and Lude carries it around the back of the goal. There's Nelson, right by Paul Coffey and McLean, sprawling across to try and come up with that. Too late. The big shot from Elderbrink. McLean does well to save that. Runkfist is all over that rebound. He can't do anything with it. Hack and Lude quickly moves the puck around to Nelson, who makes no mistake. Sweet score, 2-0 the score here, still in the first period. 
Power play goal for Sweden. Iserman goes after it. Carlson picks it up. Another whistle on the plate. Penalty box door is wide open. The official goes over to announce the infraction. Peter Anderson makes his way slowly into the box. Let's look at this again on the slow mo. Tockett was brought down behind the net. He didn't have the puck. Interference is the call, as you just heard. So Canada now with the man advantage in Swedish territory. Iserman in the face-off circle. Adams on the wing. They get it back. Coffee with McInnes. McInnes lets it go against the boards. Adams tips it. Iserman is there. Iserman. His pass is intercepted. The break is on now. McInnes. Lube offside. Well, the Canadians getting off lightly there. Iserman telegraphed that pass. The Swedes got a quick break. The bouncing puck that Hacken Lube was trying to handle. Just barely offside. Talkett gets it back. Coffee up on the right wing. McKinnis clears it in. Adams picks it up now along the boards. The Canadians, Iserman, backhanding it, trying to get it right in front. Looking for Talkett. Adams goes in the corner as Iserman is dropped to the ice. The Canadians, Iserman now, looking for the wraparound, looking for that defenseman to come in and take the shot. Running out of places to go, Iserman puts it behind the net. That's too difficult for Talkett to handle. That goes out, and again, Sweden break down two on one. They're having problems getting a man back. The Canadians right in front, Elbrick, he scores! Oh, the Canadians struggled all the way down the ice to get a man back to help out. They got him back, but it was too late. The big defenseman, Elbrick, acted as the trailer and popped it into the open net. Beautiful goal. Tockett, Iserman, Adams are all caught in deep. They're all struggling to get back. Hackenlube so patiently lays a beautiful pass over to Elderbrink, who did a good job to get up there and puts it away for the third goal. There you see Elderbrink coming into the picture. A good job by him to get into play, but a beautiful setup from Hackenlube. Hackenlube, a very solid playmaker out there. Does so much work. Short-handed goal for the Swedes. 3-0 the score here in the first period. Fantastic start for Sweden over Canada. Canada keeps it in with Michel Petit on the defense. Bellows into the corner. Fleury. And that one trickles out past Petit. Less than two minutes remaining in the first period. Bellows gets it over to Petit. Bellows again. Bellows fakes a shot, tries to work through. Erickson eventually picks it up, shoots it down the ice. Petit goes deep and gives it away to Eklund. You hear the Canadians on the bench. Time to get one. Time to get one. They don't feel they're out of this one. They trail by three. McCoon shooting it forward. Rungfist takes a pop at his man. That's right in front of the goal. Bellows was there, but uh, he couldn't get the handle on the puck. And the Canadians now on defense again. Garpenlov takes a shot. Clean makes the save. One minute now remaining on the period. The Canadians breaking. They push that into the corner. The whistle blows and Garpenlov gets the signal from the official for hooking. 
pass was ahead to Keith Acton. He's on the move. It's a one-on-three situation. He's not really going to go anywhere. Karpinlov reached out with his stick. Acton seemed to lose his footing more than anything else. The referee gives Garpinlov a hook. There you see the stick going in. Acton trying to push it away. It got just enough of him. Slides safely over the blue line. Garpinlov will sit for two. And this one will carry on into the second period. Eiserman in the face-off circle, looking to get this back to McInnes if he can. Bellows on the wing. The false start on that one. Eiserman loses out to Rundqvist. Fired all the way out past the blue line. And the Swedes now back on the attack. A one-on-one -on -one break. One in on the backhand side. Rundqvist getting a piece of that. Hack and Lube now giving Coffee some problems on the boards. And the Canadians looking so flat-footed out there. Adams. A giveaway there to Samuelson, and he puts that one into the crowd. With just a few seconds remaining on the clock. And the Canadians really are looking flat at times defensively. Rundqvist here coming in. The save with the skate and the pad by McLean. Swedes have the forwards who are so shifty out there. Rundqvist, Nilsson, Hacken, Lube. So dangerous, one-on-one -on -one situation. They can take anybody on. McLean came up with a nice save. Dave King can't be too pleased with his team's performance here in the first period. Come on, boys. 22 seconds remaining. McKinnis a chance for a shot. He decides to put it into the corner. Behind the net now as Fleury makes his way to the net. Cullen dropping it back to McKinnis. He fakes the first shot, gets it over to the far side. Trying to get that shot away with Lidster. Well, he took too long on the puck. And there goes the buzzer to end the first period. Sweden 3, Canada nil. An excellent start for the Swedes. They really did pile on the pressure. Join us in a moment for more ice hockey action. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Bern, Switzerland for the World Ice Hockey Championships. Sweden against Canada, and right now Sweden are looking so strong. They lead by three goals to nil. McLean caught a couple of times. Let's take a look at what this game means. The Soviets have already captured gold, their 22nd victory. The Czechs, the Swedes, and the Canadians are waiting for this one to be decided. We know that the Americans, the Finns, and the West Germans will stay in Pool A, but Norway will go down, and the Swiss will come up. The Norwegians found it tough being back in Pool A. They'll get another shot next year if they can win that Pool B. The Canadians have not looked good in this first period. The Swedes have been all over them. We saw a power play goal, a shorthanded goal, and then an even strength goal. They totally outplayed the Canadians in that first period. Well, if the Canadians win this, they get bronze. If the Swedes win, they get silver and the Czechs get bronze. So it's all important. The Canadians now playing from left to right have a man advantage as Coffey, what a good pass from him, gets the return pass, shoots it by Hackenlube and Samuelson, and that's popped. And we'll have a face-off here in the early stages of this second period. They need something, and they need something fast to get them going. At times they've looked okay, but defensively they've been getting caught with just one man back and two or three Swedes roaming around the front of that net. Eiserman, Elderbrink will hammer that off the boards down the ice. McKinnis. McCoon. 
Elderbrink stayed with him. Adams dropped it back. The pass took a deflection. Adams didn't see it. It was right in front of the net. And the Swedes make a complete change. McKinnis gets it forward. Looking for the quick break. The Canadians not showing much intensity here. Power play opportunity. Haven't even really had a good shot at the net. Well, I'm sure that Coach Dave King has said, look guys, it's a long, hot summer. All we've got is 40 minutes left. Let's give it everything we have. There's no point in sitting back. Eklund got that forward. Carlson comes in, takes a shot. At the far corner. Came out over the blue line. Craven. Still Craven. Erickson goes after him. That's flipped all the way around and the Swedes are back at full strength. Flurry. Looking for Craven on the side. Talkett rotates in front of the net there and the Swedes come up. Johansson pushes it over to the far side. Garpenlov. Eklund. Erickson now. Erickson being manhandled by Flurry. Flurry gives a chop back. Flurry really doesn't take anything from anyone. Over the boards for a face-off. Well, I guess when you're only five foot six, you really have to be physical all the time just to let people know that you mean business. And this guy really does mean business. Look at that. Well, it's reasons like this why he's successful in the NHL. He is small, but he'll take anybody on. Erickson figures he'll shove him out of the way. Flurry says, I don't think so. Well, the Swede gave him a double take on that. He didn't expect that stick to come swinging over. 3-0 the score. Cullen goes after his man on the far side. Recky on this side. McKinnis with McCoon on the defense. The Canadians struggling to get it out of the sunlight. Tipped as far as the blue line and the Canadians again come up with it with Acton. McKinnis. McKinnis has to stop on the blue line to keep that onside. Cullen was too far in to pick up that pass. Cullen goes after it this time with McKinnis. Still in the corner, John Cullen. The Swedes playing good positional hockey throughout the first period. Trying not to give anything away here. Huss and McKinnis again putting in a regular shift out there. Deuce kind of fanned on that one. And the goalie got it forward. Rupa. Rupa tees it up, takes a shot. Caught by McLean. A quick whistle forces the face off. The Swedes are still hungrier out there. They're outskating the Canadians in both ends of the ice. The Canadians aren't really getting any kind of an attack on Ritterwall. Look at referee Vauklin. It's been relatively quiet for him. Swiss ref, of course, right at home here. Three nil the score here in the second period as Trumbo gets set for this faceoff for Sweden. Rupa taps that behind the goal to Lidster. He's got Bellows on the wing. Pass into center goes into. Swedish territory. Elderbrink goes back. Has Bellows all over him. The Canadians now with Gilmore. Bellows puts his arm off and there's going to be a penalty. You see the referee directing himself toward Bellows saying, follow me. Weiserman in the corner. Shakes off the defenseman. Bellows is in there. Puts a grab on the defender. 
immediately Boglin's arm goes in the air. I would think that call was a little questionable. Samuelson, of course, happy with it. He's the man that got grabbed. Ryan Bellows in the penalty box, two minutes for holding. Well, you can hear Bellows is not too impressed with the Swiss cameraman. He's going to sit for two. He's had enough star treatment. He wants to get on with the game. He wasn't impressed with that call at all. Erickson taken out of the play by Sutter. Intercepted by Canada. They come back now. Three men forward. Canada ragging the puck out there. Stolen off the stick of Gilmore by Elderbrink. Elderbrink picks it up again at center and gives it to the Rungfist. He's got Hack and Lube and drops it back to him. Lube leaves it along the hash marks, grabs it with his skate again. Tipped out over the blue line as Sutter went after it, goes for a change. The Canadians doing a good job so far of keeping the Swedes out of their zone with Acton. A long shot, right on the target, going in for the rebound. Trying to get the shot. Craven there now. Craven behind the goal. Good move by Craven as Acton goes in for it. Acton tips it to Craven. Elderbrink brings him down and Eklund picks it up. Tips it forward. Erickson. Eklund. Still it's Eklund. Samuelson now. Big number five. This guy has got a shot from way back. At the point, Samuelson, Eklund, Samuelson again, cleared away nicely as Garpilov was right there, 16 seconds on the penalty, again the Swedes come back, the shot, took a deflection, the Canadians pick it up, Johansson tried desperately to keep it in, Juice picks it up in the corner, Canadians now back at full strength. A long pass up on the wing to Johansson, looking for something in front. Oh, the tip by Garpilov. McCoon shot that one forward. Good effort by Garpilov to try and tip that one down. Carlson takes the shot. That goes high, and that'll be a souvenir. Canadians doing well to kill that penalty off. The Swedes are still on the attack. Bellows quickly back into the action. On that penalty, you can see the play coming in almost. A tit touch there for Garpenlov. It's a good lead pass. The penalty was over shortly after that. The Swedes unable to connect on the power play. the Swedish fans really do have something to sing about. They lead by three. The pucks, of course, are kept in a bucket of ice. Kept frozen. A save on Anderson's shot. Shot along the boards and brought down by Recky. Kept in the zone. Carlson goes into the corner for Sweden. Carlson pushed away by Cullen. Coffee is there to help out. Beside the net, Carlson goes after it again. You can see that the Swedes really are skating. They're moving the motion all the time. Cullen didn't know he had that one. The Canadians keep it along the boards. Cullen picks it up at the blue line and breaks fast. He's got Recky with him. Dropping it off in the corner. This is nice right in front. The goalie was down. There was no one there from Canada to pop it in the open net. Carlson comes back now. The shot. Wide of the target, Johansson to the far side and the Canadians, McInnes had to flip that in the zone to avoid the offside, Elderbrink to Svensson, Svensson taps it forward and breaks for the net, right in front to Elderbrink, that took a deflection off a player, Svensson leaves it in the corner, and the Swedes with the motion out there. Carlson, Sturmvall. Sturmvall taken out along the plate. 
Sternvall picks it up. Right in front. That's in the net. Svensson made it look so easy, but Sternvall did all the work. Good work behind the goal. You can see one player's been taken out. Sternvall comes out in front with it. There's Svensson all by himself. McQueen left totally defenseless. There's Strumball, heads up play, a nice pass out front. Svensson's got this one lined up. He beats McLean. Canadians are scrambling. So another one for Sweden. Makes it 4-0. The Swedish fans really are pumped up for this one. Only in the second period. Gilmore for Canada. Gilmore takes it over to the top of the circle. Directs that one to the board, to the goal rather, and Sutter tips it right in front to Burr, and Burr couldn't get a handle on it. Garpenlov topped that one forward. Hack and Lube circles at center. And the Swedes really are showing some classy stuff out there. Nilsson dropping it off. Lube is waiting on the side of the net. That doesn't come to him. Sutter bats that one forward. Burr taken out. Sutter picks it up. Nilsson gets it in the slot area. The Canadians not going forward enough. The defense waiting, hanging right back as Michel Petit got that one up to the blue line. And that's shot in. Anderson. Bellows goes after him. Johansson picks it up and gives it back to Anderson. Tipped up to Eklund. Skates by Eiserman and drops it back to the defense. The difference here, the defense are Sweden getting so involved in the play. That puck right in front of the net. Johansson did a great job. But McLean came out nicely. Garpenlov teaming up with Johansson. This time, McLean makes the, uh, makes the save. Swedish forwards all over the ice here. Three on two situation. Johansson, Garpenlov, Eklund, they're all in there. Play is sloppy. Mc McLean is down. McCoon's trying to help him out. Fortunately, McLean gets those pads over the top of that puck. Four nil the score, McKinnis. Offside the call. Look at Brian Bellows. Hasn't shown much in this game. He's had an elbowing penalty, the one I called holding. It was actually elbowing. Dave King looking through his notes. We're trying to find an answer to something here. This team has got to get going. Down 4-0. It's not very often you'll see a Canadian team on the ice not scoring goals. Well, they're being out hustled, that's for sure. Erickson to the far side. The Swedes really are stringing these passes together. Huss. Flurry back to the defense. Tockett tries to tap that one down and Craven will go in the corner and pick it up. Squeezed out of the play by Elderbrink. Fleury gets it back. Fleury now going after it. Takes a hit. Falls to the ice. And the Swedes with Erickson just tap it over the blue line and it comes back in again. Sweden looking so confident with Erickson. Erickson now. Craven picks it up. McKinnis tapped that one forward. McKinnis couldn't get the stick on that one. Sweden now breaking as they change on the fly. Carlson happy just to dump that into Canadian territory for McKinnis to pick up as they change on the go. Midway through the second period, 4-0 is the score. Sweden over Canada. The Canadians started so strong in this tournament, they were undefeated. 
And as soon as they hit the metal round, something happened. They ran out of steam. Perhaps they peaked too early. But right now, they're looking rather flat. The Swedes are flying, and they're golden, going for silver. We've seen a lot of teams playing Jekyll and Hyde in this tournament. The Czechs with a great comeback against the Swedes. The Czechs with a good win over the Canadians, and then not showing very much at all against the Russians. Samuelson takes his man out. Colin picks it up, drops it off. The Canadians trying to get something going with Acton out there. Recky spun out of the play. Colin gives his man a high stick. Still moving along the boards. And the Canadians under pressure again. Rupa, Rupa pushed off the play nicely by Michelle Petit. Still, Rupa picks up the puck and hands it off. The slot, the shot came from the slot as Rupa was standing right there. Erickson doing a good job of keeping that in. The Canadians now bring it out. Cullen, Cullen has Recky in front if he can stay on his feet. Cullen tips that one back to the point. The shot comes in, into the circle. Recky tips it back. McCoon getting a couple of shots, but neither one of them coming through. Rupa. Svensson. Svensson takes a hit. Gilmore pops it behind the net. McCoon comes up with it and gets it forward. Sutter loses control, and the Swedes now bat it forward to Runkfist. Runkfist shoots, scores! Once again, the Swedes are just all over the Canadians. The Canadians having all kinds of trouble stringing passes together, getting anything going offensively themselves. Very quickly, the Swedes turn it around. Runkfist gets a break. He's on his off wing. He shoots and scores for the Swedes. There he is on the right side, a left-hand shot. Snaps that wrist shot behind McLean. The Swedes saw the Soviets beat the Czechs 5-0. And I guess they figure anything you guys can do, we can do better. Or at least we can match for the moment as Lidster goes back. 5-0 is the score. You mentioned the Jekyll and Hyde syndrome with the Czechs. It has been the same with the Swedes. Totally handled by the Soviets. Allowed the Czechs to get back into it. But look at this team today. They're all over the Canadians. A giveaway here. Lube takes a shot. McLean came way out to cut down the angle. Gilmore tried to get in front of that. Nilsson looking for the pass from Runkfist, but Gilmore now will pick it up. A giveaway there to Lube. Green a bit slow to react on that one, and the Canadians, you can see, standing flat-footed just outside the blue line. The Swedes really are pumped up for this one. Lidster, quick changes all the time for Sweden. Fresh legs. Gilmore breaks for the net. The shot there by Tockett right into the goalie's midriff. And he's going to save those all day long. <laughs> yeah. Well, smiling, frowning. You tell me, what is that supposed to be? McLean is coming off. Robert Essence, the Winnipeg goalie, 25 years old, goes between the pipes now. Who knows, that may turn things round for Canada. A difficult time to go in. Remember, he hasn't had a warm-up shot. They score! Adams got that from the point. Eiserman got it back. And who knows, maybe the goalie did that. <laughs> I doubt it very much. Eiserman quick on the draw, wins it cleanly. Adams with a good shot, beats Ritterwall. Well, you mentioned that maybe Essence's presence has done it. I don't know, Paul, he was all the way down at the other end of the rink, still loosening up. There's the shot from Adams. Quite possibly Ritterwall was watching Essence. I don't know. He was beaten cleanly on that one. A nice shot by Greg Adams. 
Well, maybe the combination of the two, the goal and the change of goalie, will help Canada to come back into this one. They've got a long way to go because the Swedes really do look sharp. Carlson taken out just inside the blue line. Juice gets that one forward. A long shot, and they'll try to do that to test Essence early. That pass goes all the way down the ice. Juice touches it for icing. Iserman isn't happy about something out there. Not just the score, that's for sure. That assist was a big one for Steve Iserman. He's at the top of the table in the scoring. Him and Komatov have been very close. From the face-offs, Thurmval loses out. The Canadians with Green along the boards to Fleury. Fleury for Canada, starting to pour it on. Fleury works his way in, drops it back to Craven. That's right in front. And Fleury was dumped right in front of the net. That goes deep. The Canadians will touch it for icing. Michelle Petit gets the touch. Fleury was tripped right in front of the net. But no sign from the official. Oh, there were a lot of bodies flying around there. Good work close in. You can see right in front of that goal, Fleury goes flying. Tockett standing behind him. As Fleury goes down, Elderbrink goes right over the top. This is a good opportunity for Team Canada here. You're right in there. Tockett with a good opportunity there. Ritterwall came up big. There's Elderbrink clearing it. Svensson sort of trips Flurry. Flurry trips Elderbrink. What comes around goes around. Into the corner with Bellows being tied up and Craven getting the puck. Craven. Flurry. Talk it. Right beside the net, trying to get that in front. The Canadians buzzing all around with Craven. I don't know who she plays for. I'd like to get back to the action. Here we go. And that one is now brought over the blue line. The Swedes now working in. Right in front. The net is wide open. Anderson set that up. Nilsson is standing right there saying, where is everybody from Canada? 6-1. Oh, this is hockey made easy. Anderson with the pass across. Everybody seems to be magnetized toward Anderson. And there's Kent Nilsson standing back there with his 10th goal of the tournament. About five seconds after he took the shot, nobody had still gotten over to him, even to congratulate him. He was so far alone over there. Not a lot Essence is going to do with something like that. Karpinlov gets it back to the defense. The Canadians now with Recky tipping that forward. Cullen trying to get it out front. Recky goes in to take the defensive position back on the point. And the Canadians acting being taken out there by Anderson. Recky goes in to help out. Still Recky and with Cullen. Eklund doing a good job of back checking. Lidster goes along the boards. Juice is there now. Push back behind the cage. Anderson bounces that off the woodwork. Deep into Canadian territory. Icing is the call. Neither team is really playing the body out there, so that's why you're seeing such wide open. Everybody seems open on the ice type hockey out here. Well, we're just discussing that goal. Richard Beaupre and I, that goal from Nilsson, we just couldn't believe that he had so much time. He had a sandwich and a cup of tea and then decided to pop it in the goal. And still no one knew about it. Green. McKinnis. 
Gets it forward to Sutter now. Sutter for Canada. He's got Gilmore. Eldebrink took that off him, but Gilmore will pick it up and put it behind the net. The Canadians with Gilmore again. Gilmore right in front. Sutter uh, took a bounce. Sutter picks it up. The shot. Sutter again along the board. Samuelson doing some work on defense to try to keep that out of there. Burr goes in to help out now. The Canadians still with the pressure on. Gilmore. Sutter leaving it for Gilmore. Gilmore works his way and takes the shot. The save is there. Green goes after it, but he loses his stick. And Carlson picks it up for Sweden. Carlson brings it out. He's got support. Pushed over to the far side by Ericsson. No one there to pick it up, and Canada comes back. They trail by five. 6 1 the score. Bellows. Big slashed hair, and he got away with that one. Well, did he? The referee sort of just trying to get out of the way. I think he thought he was going to get slashed as well. Let's look at this again. The action. Some good stuff from Canada. Excellent forechecking to keep the puck in. Svensson brings it out. And we have an injured Swede on the play as Sean Burr will sit for two. Well, there wasn't a lot of question about that. It was slashing all the way. Sweet sorting out who they're going to send out for this power play. You can hear Burr's reaction. You can hear Burr's first reaction, that is. The fans start cheering, so you blow the whistle. The second one. Your lip reader or your TV's turned up very loud. You can hear that one for yourself. So the Canadians under pressure again. They have a man down. And the Swedes with Elderbrink to Runkfist. Runkfist off the boards. Canadians will shoot that down to the center ice, but Elderbrink will pick it up. And Sweden bring it back in. Hack and Lube with Samuelson. He's got Nilsson on one side. Elderbrink takes a shot. The save. Bellows picks it up. Gets it over on the left wing to Iserman. Iserman going in. Is taken out of the play and goes right into the goal post. What is that? Let's fucking go! You bastard! Well, let's look at this again. They really are having a go with the referee out there. Iserman trying to do what he's done so many times throughout the tournament. And lean on the defenseman. But his feet went out from under him. And he plowed right into that goal from a different angle. Steve Eiserman trying to cut in from the outside. He's on the backhand. Pushes the putt by very nicely. Seems to lose an edge. The player is right on top of him. Goes into that goal post pretty hard. Canadians having a lot of reaction to that. You can hear their cheers and chants. Burr still sitting it out in the penalty box for Canada. Back on the ice, Tockett working hard against Eklund and Samuelson. Tockett along the boards, Samuelson comes up with it. Craven goes in to help out, Erickson flips it away but not far enough. Right in on the backhand side, that's tipped back to the top of the circle. And the Swedes pick it up. They've got the man advantage. Right into the center. Tockett gets it over the blue line. Craven works up now. Craven, the shot. Goes off Samuelson. Craven gets it, or tries to get it, right to McInnes. Intercepted by Samuelson. Sharpenlov in the corner with 30 seconds on the penalty. McInnes takes that one away and shoots it to Tockett, who gets it across to Deuce Deuce brings it over the blue line slowly looking for Sturmvall Sturmvall picks it up after a second attempt and there's going to be another penalty to Craven this time the shot right on the target and Craven 
is having words with the referee. Well, the Canadians can't believe it. They're getting whistles from the crowd. But this is the kind of thing they get away with all year long. Let's look at this again. Svensson goes in to take the shot. Well, the penalty actually occur occurred just a few seconds before that replay. Craven going over to argue that he really doesn't have much of a case. The Canadians are hacking and whacking out there. There was a slashing call. He gave him a couple of pretty good chops. One thing to do it away from the play, but when you're two feet in front of the referee, it's not easy to get away with them, no matter what league you come from. Burr getting set to jump back on the ice. The Canadians two men down for the moment. Those cameramen are taking their chances. They're awful close to those players in the penalty box. Brian Bellos earlier told the guy to get it out of his face. Sean Burr's eyeing him up at the moment. Well, when you're losing, you want to take it out on anyone who just happens to be near. The Canadians struggling now. Two men down. They put another man back on the ice. McCoon offside is Sean Burr, who came out of the penalty box and stepped over the blue line. And I have a feeling now, as the Canadians are trailing by 6-1, to one, they're going to complain about just about everything. It is nice to see that Tommy Sandlin's Swedish team is just keeping their composure. They're playing very good hockey out there. They're moving the puck around well, and they're staying away from all the niggly stuff that's going on. So the face-off in the neutral zone was Thurmvall going up against Acton for Canada. The official waiting for both players to put their sticks on the ice, or at least look like they're going to put their sticks on the ice. Thurmvall intercepted, given back to Sturmvall. Roop is there, running interference. Sturmvall now from the circle, gets the return pass. Sturmvall again from Rupa. They've got the man advantage. The shot for the point is kicked away. The rebound is right in front. And the Canadians with Acton. And Burr out there clearing that one out of the zone. Rupa. Rupa takes the shot. McCoon having problems along the boards. Lidster taps that one forward. The Canadians can't keep it out of the end zone. Juice doesn't know what to do with it. This time he shoots. Sturmvall has got Roop out there. Rupa and Sturmvall. The Canadians will let them do this all day long. They're killing off their own penalty. What they're trying to do is get a good shot on goal. Lidster, a nice little poke check by him. Back to the point. Back again to Sturmvall. The rink-wide pass to the far side to Juice. Juice has Anderson on this side, and he gets it. Anderson, let's go the shot. Sean Burr will blast that one all the way down the ice. That ends up a souvenir in the stadium seats. That went into the crowd very quickly. Loughlin's been under a lot of heat from the Canadian team during this period heard a few words he maybe has never heard before. Ten seconds to go on the period. King will go into this break and try to do something with the time he has to get the guys back into this game, but it looks like an uphill climb. McKinnis touches this, the long shot labeled for the goal. The Swedes will just rag this one off as the buzzer goes. The score at the end of the second period, Sweden 6, Canada 1. An incredible period once again for the Swedes. They scored 3, the Canadians 1. Join us in a moment for the remainder of the game. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Bern, Switzerland for the World Ice Hockey Championships. Canada against Sweden. And right now the Swedes are leading 6-1. to one. 
Not the kind of result we expected as they get set for this third period. But the Swedes really have played some stylish hockey out there. They're coming out onto the ice now, so relaxed. They know this one is in the bag, but uh, don't count out the Canadians. 20 minutes is a long time in hockey, and anything can happen. The look on Dave King's face said it all as he came out. Not much expression. I don't think he's very happy with this performance at all. He's got 20 minutes to go. The Canadians just out of pride will probably try and pull something back here. It's been a wide open game. A lot of goals going in that net. Anything can happen. The Canadians will start with Craven in the penalty box. Confirmation there of the score. Runkfist at center. Lidster. The Canadians playing from right to left. It's an uphill fight, but they can do it if the Canadians really put their minds to it and start skating. Have a penalty on the play in the first few seconds here as Vuckland goes over to the penalty box. Looking is a call. You can see that. Very clearly made by Vauklin, the referee. Nilsson making his way to the penalty box. Hacken Lube, in the meantime, was three quarters of the way down the ice. There's Nilsson putting the hook on the Canadian. Hacken Lube carries on like nothing's happened. Took a long time for that whistle to come, but in the end, this is the result. Kent Nilsson's in there for two. He's picked up two goals so far in this game. McInnes for Canada. Back to McInnes. Being shadowed by Rungfist. Up on the wing. Gilmore. Flurry. Flurry with Adams. Back to Eisenman. Takes a shot. The kick save there. Sends it to the far side. Bounced off the plexi, but it's not out of the zone. Adams is there. He loses control. And the Swedes with Runkfist. Canadians back at full strength. That tips right to the blue line. Lube fires it back into his own zone. Good chance there for Eiserman to set something up. Possibly get a goal as Eklund now has it. Drops it back to the defense. And the Swedes really spreading it out onto the ice. Throwing the puck around nicely. Canada works over the blue line, over the red line. Eiserman, right in front to Adams, he scores! That's number two for Adams. Nice touch by Greg Adams. Skating well away from the play. You can see the play develop here with Eiserman. A great pass from him. Ritterwald trying to get back. Not much of a chance. Greg Adams with his eighth goal of the tournament. Another look, there's Eiserman. Head is always up. Feathers that pass through very nicely. Adams with the final touch. So Eiserman and Adams working well out there. Craven taken out of the play, but Talkett into the corner. The Canadians now with the momentum. They score! Flurry did the wraparound and picked the far corner. Well, I said at the start they were trailing 6-1, to one, but don't count them out because anything can happen in ice hockey. And they're proving that right now. Talk it in front of the net. Flurry the wraparound. Picks the far corner. Good hustle from Theorin Flurry. He came from around behind that net. Here you see him. Talk it is in front. Flurry knows what he wants all the way. Flurry being much quicker than Ritterwall there. Keeps it right on the ice and beats him to the far corner. There you can see the colorful little flurry trying to get everybody going. He's a motivator. He's a gutsy little performer. When he's out there, he never, ever stops. He'll take on the biggest guy in the world and flatten him if he can, but he won't back down. We saw the Swedes in the third period against the Czechs let the Czechs get back into the game. The Canadians with two quick goals. There's a lot of time left. Tom 
Tommy Sandlin with his head down. I'm sure he's not giving up. They lead by three, but the Canadians right now have the momentum. Green shoots it along the boards. Taken in offside. Hack and Lube over that blue line too quickly. Offside. Looks like he wants to give a beer to the cameraman and looks like the cameraman is giving it right back to him. He doesn't look like that's the first beer he's had tonight either. Well, everyone really enjoying this one as Samuelson punches it to the far side. The Canadians now start it up again. They've got fire in their eyes. Recky in the corner. In there with Cullen. McCoon is there to help out. Cullen tips that into the corner. McCoon takes the shot. The save is right there. The rebound. Oh, and they just couldn't get the shot away. That was Cullen. The Canadians buzzing around that net. A chance for a shot from McCoon on the far side, but the pass didn't come to him. And then now the Swedes break. They've got the advantage here. Hackenloob takes the shot. Essenson makes the save. Awesome, good stuff from the Canadian goalie to come out and cut down the angle. A three-on-one break. That's the price the Canadians are going to have to pay if they want to throw everybody forward. They may get caught with uh, just one man back. They have to throw everybody forward, but they get caught here. Essence of bails them out. Hack and Lube, three-on-one with Runkfist and Nilsson. It's not very often these three guys miss an opportunity like that. Essence with a good job. Canadians trying to make a few too many passes at the other end of the ice. Could have had a couple of shots a bit quicker. From the faceoff, that goes as far as the blue line. McKinnis, Lidster, taps that one forward. Svensson is on it. Picked up by uh, Bellows. Adams now. Adams is hit at the blue line. And Svensson picks it up deep in the zone. A good hit on Svensson, but he keeps going. A long pass picked off by Lidster in the neutral zone. Adams picks it up now. This guy is hungry. Adams flips it over. Offside is the call. Bellows was the intended receiver. Both teams very relaxed. I'm sure Dave King said, look guys, let's just salvage something. Get something going in this third period. The play is really wide open for both teams. It's good end-to-end -end action. Erickson backhands that off the boards. Green gets it over to the far side. Shot all the way in. The Canadians get there first with Tockett. Trying to tip it out front. Eklund picks it up. Punches that one to Green. And Green gets it forward in Flurry now for Canada. On the backhand side, Flurry. That comes off a skate, but Fleury gets it again. They're trying to get it out front to Craven. Craven now turns around, Fleury's there, the shot. Took a deflection, the rebound is right in front, and that bobbles and is eventually cleared out of the zone. This should be icing. Green with the touch. Good stuff from Craven, Tockett, and Fleury. Fleury with so much work around that goal. Murray Craven going back to the bench. There's some of the action from behind that net. Flurry with the touch. Tockett trying to get it out in front. Craven's muscling in front. He pushes it over. There's Flurry. Swedish defenders do well to get back in there. That shot was deflected. Eklund down low helping out the defenseman. A good move for a center. Well, they were showing that replay in the background. You could hear the Canadians every shift, every shift. They know they have absolutely nothing to lose. One period of ice hockey left for the entire season. And they're going to go for it. The Swedes, well, I don't believe that they will sit back for long. Lube gets that one in. Nilsson is there on the short side. Oh, how did he miss that? That was Lube. A brilliant pass on the... Short side. Some good stuff from both teams as they work hard in this third period. Recky working in on the right wing. That one goes high. And we'll have a face-off. How did the Swedes miss that one at the far end of the rink? Hack and Luke quite possibly playing this one a little bit too nonchalantly. 
some good stuff from Nelson. He works that puck to the front of the goal. All the Canadians are following the puck. There's Hacken Luby just hits Essenzo with a shot. Essenzo is just starting to move back, and the puck had already hit him and deflected away. The momentum has switched a little bit toward the Canadians. They're putting a lot of pressure on. Bellows goes after his man, but the Swedes push it forward. Svensson taken out of the play nicely. Adams gives that one off along the boards. I don't think that was a real pass. Nevertheless, the Canadians come up with it. Adams has it now as he tries to get around his man. Adams is hurt. He took a shot on the knee. Still not away. The Canadians keeping the pressure on. Bellows pushed his man into the boards, and they really are getting physical out there. Right in front, a chance for the backhand shot. Minster got it right across, and the Canadians couldn't tip it into the open goal. Now the break is on for Sweden as they come back into this one. Sternvall goes to the far side. The shot coming from Anderson is high, and the Canadians with McKinnis picking it up. McKinnis bringing it out slowly. A long shot into the corner, as he's done so many times throughout this tournament. Adams chases. Iserman picks it up. Iserman has it poke check. Adams taken off the play. McCoon is there. Eklund tries to get it out, but Adams helps out in the corner. Iserman runs into the official. McCoon couldn't contain that one along the boards. And now Carlson for Sweden brings it forward. Carlson has a break right in on goal. And it's knocked off his stick. Some good defensive work there. And Buckman let it go. Greg Adams with a great shift. He was out there a long time. The Swedes can turn it on so quickly, though. Here they come again. Sharpenlov with Eklund. Eklund overskates it. Flurry picks it up now and gets it over to an open wing. The Canadians are breaking hard. Oh, and that was a great hit on Tockett. Tockett went down hard. Johansson is hit into the boards now. Flurry smashes uh, Garpenlov in. And this is a great third period. Craven takes a swing at his man. Fleury gets it over. Looking for the return pass. Craven is right out front. Punch back into the corner. Talkett is there. Fleury. Green takes the shot. The Canadians now. Lidster right in front. Craven bats it back. Fleury goes after his man. Green. Shoves it back into the corner to talk it or to Flurry rather. Flurry doesn't know where it is. Samuelson has tied him up and Green tries to keep it in. Talk it does a great job of giving it to Flurry. Flurry passes it over to the far side to Craven. Craven gives it back to Flurry and that goes back to Lidster. Lidster takes the shot and it's kicked out. The rebound is there and they miss the wide open goal. The Canadians with Flurry buzzing around that open net. Couldn't get a clean shot on goal, and Ritterwall was all over the place. A great round of applause for the Canadians. Doug Lidster with that shot from the blue line. Ritterwall makes the save. He doesn't know where the rebound is. It goes up in the air. Watch Fleury come into the picture. There he is. In all fairness to him, that puck was bouncing. Tried to get a quick shot off. You can see him running right over the top of everybody. The puck just goes wide. All kinds of action around Ritterwall. There's Tockett trying to create some kind of havoc. Ritterwall's down. Everyone's on top of him. The puck bounces wide off Flurry's stick. That line did a great job out there. Flurry is such a tenacious four-checker. 6-3 here with 7.30 gone in the period. The Swedes are still in the lead. But the Canadians are slowly coming back into this one. Sutter in the face-off circle telling the official that he's not really happy with the way the Swedes are lining up Runqvist got it back for Sweden and gets it eventually to Nilsson on the wing Nilsson trying to find Hackenlube McCoon gets it back into the zone Ritterwall scoops it around to McCoon. Not a good clearance from him, and it ends up on Sutter's stick, but it's stolen away from him. Hack and Lube now. A long rink-wide pass as Lube breaks for the net. The shot. Essence got a piece of that. 
The Canadians now breaking with three men. Acton takes a shot. Sutter's right there. And it's cleared across the goal. Ritterwall didn't see that one again. Runkvist turns, gives it off to number 19, Anderson. Anderson slows it down, flips it back into the corner. McInnes will pick this one up. McInnes is squeezed out of the play by Strumball, but the Canadians find the loose puck and bring it out into the neutral zone. Recchi fakes the shot. Samuelson tied him up right to the far side. The Canadians with Lidster. They've got Burr right in front. The loose puck is gathered by Nilsson, and Nilsson shoots it slowly down the ice. And it's one-way traffic right now for Canada. For so long, they were under pressure. And this time, Burr doesn't want to know. He knows that he stays on the ice and the Canadians stay out of the penalty box. They can get even closer to that six-goal tally by Sweden. A period or two ago, Burr probably would have retaliated there. He stayed away from it now as his team has changed the pace of this game. The Canadians are full go here. The action is all in the Swedish end. A lot of the reasons for that are those Canadian defensemen are really standing up on that blue line pinching in, doing anything they can to keep the puck in that end. 8.48 gone in the third period. Still lots of action to come. Cullen along the boards can't keep it in, and the Swedes now break with three. Shot into the corner. Gilmore. Taken out of the zone. Cullen now breaks. Cullen has got a man in front. It's right there to Gilmore. He can't get the shot away. Samuelson was all over him. Cullen picks it up in the corner. He's got Lidster. Gilmore still trying to get up onto his feet. Lidster flips it to the far side. The shot comes in and it takes a deflection. Lidster goes back for it. Michel Petit tried to get a shot on goal. Cullen picks it up now. Every time they dump and run, the Canadians are right in there putting on the pressure. Back to Lidster, kept in to this corner now. Iserman right in front. Gilmore behind the net has got Iserman. Iserman has time to work in front. Iserman fakes the shot, looking for an angle, looking for an opening. Too many Swedes in front of the net. Lidster will pop it back in behind the goal. That one is shot out as we reach the midway point. Johansson goes back for it. Michel Petit will tie him up if he can. Right in front is a Swedish player. The pass didn't come as Johansson circles, tries to get it to Eklund. And the Canadians break now. Both teams changing on the fly here in the third period. Gilmore fires it into the zone. And the Canadians with Bellows trying to keep it in, but the Swedes take it out over center. Green picks it up to the far side. Tipped along to Adams. Adams drops it back. Adams is right in front. He wants that puck. Now he's got it. Adams looking for Green. Still it's Adams. Being shadowed by Juice. Juice is all over. Adams trying to do the wraparound. And they can't get the shot away. McKinnis ties up his man. And Garpenlov is hammered out of the play by Green and McKinnis. Johansson takes the shot. And they really did double team him. Garpenlov really got hammered for just trying to dump the puck in the zone. The Canadians are on full attack. Adams taken out of the play. Bellows goes after his man. Shot into the neutral ice. And the Canadians with Iserman now dropping it back. The shot, a weak one, goes wide, but Craven goes after it. Johansson tries to backhand it, and he does out of the zone. All the way down into the corner. McKinnis gets the touch first. Icing is the call. The whistle's coming for that potential hook call, but uh, Vogland is letting everything go here in the third period. This is a great period. Vogland doing a good job of letting this game flow. Both teams are skating hard. It's end-to-end -end action. There's no way that he wants to mess things up by making a few peewee calls out there. He's really letting the game go. The Canadians are never short of having at least four men in there. The fence are really pushing in. From the faceoff, back to Lidster. He takes a shot. That went off Hack and Lube. 
talk it in the corner. And the Canadians really hustling here. Right out front, the shot from way back at Lidster. Wide of the target. Talk it sees that go by him. And the Swedes now with the long pass intended to the far side. That took a deflection, the uh, official says. Hacken Lube picks it up in the corner. Lube, Lidster goes after him. Dropping it back, Lidster takes his man, but the Swedes still have it. Back to Anderson, the shot. Essence hangs on to that. McCoon is right there. And Essence decides to call for a face-off. and Rungfist getting a well-deserved break as the Swedish fans take over here. Carlson will do the honors now for Sweden. Canada getting it forward and getting it out. Recky shoots it in to Gilmore. Gilmore to Recky. Recky has Cohen in front. Gilmore gets it back to Cohen. Cohen being shadowed there by Svensson. Still the Canadians diving, throwing their bodies into everything out there as Deuce got it forward. The long shot right on the target from Svensson. Green takes it into the corner after the save by Essenson. Petit up to center, drop back to Cohen. Cohen over the blue line, loses control of it. Couldn't get the legs moving. And Michelle Petit goes deep. Petit drops it off. Green gets it up over the blue line. And the Canadians fire it in once again. Going after it is Eklund. Eklund quick to get it out along the boards. And the Canadians looking for a quick change. And some high sticking along the boards here in front of the commentary box. As McCoon keeps it in. Both teams swinging and punching it at each other as they go by. Samuelson shot that all the way down. The Canadians will touch it. No love loss between these two teams right now. The Canadians struggling to bring themselves back into this. The Swedes finding themselves under pressure. See Carlson gets the elbow and then the chop all that is happening when he's just trying to get off the ice to have a breather they're either telling him he should have stayed on the ice or else they're telling him he had a good shift one or the other he got a couple of pats on the back there well I'm sure that's not the kind of encouragement he's looking for the shot McKinnis from way back the Swedes now McKinnis chasing his man Garpenlov slams on the brakes, but McKinnis gets in there to intercept. Adams comes back to help out. Garpenlov still going after that one with Johansson. Johansson is brought down. There's going to be a penalty on the play. Eklund gets a touch. Eiserman now touches it for Canada. And slashing will be the call. Adams is not happy with that call. Adams wants to have the last word. It's not going to help his cause. He is one unhappy teddy bear. Slashing is the call. And I think if you're the cameraman here, you don't have to be a genius to know that you don't want to get the camera too close to Greg Adams. Well, he's tried to stay away from the penalty box, as have the Canadians throughout this third period. Canadians taking their time here. I don't know if that's some kind of a boycott directed at the referee Boglin but they're all along the boards here you can see there's the slash from Adams that happened way back in the Swedish end 
Canadians very unhappy about that call. Coach Dave King is on the bench telling the guys to get out there and get going. 6-3 the score here in the third period. Lidster. And they're still yelling at the referee. We'll get a shorty here, boys. We need a shorty here. You can hear the Canadian officials saying, we need a shorty here. We need a shorty here. They're not talking about flurry. They're talking about a shorthanded goal. Very good one. Acton isn't that tall either. They aren't directing it at him. The Canadians have got to kill this off or go for a shorthanded goal. Sutter in the faceoff, loses out. Lube pats it back. Erickson is on this side. Lube puts it behind the net. Nilsson is cruising in front. He's dangerous. Runkfist gets it to Lube. Lube to Runkfist. Runkfist still with the puck. Erickson to the far side. And the Canadians don't mind them doing this as Elderbrink gets it over now. Lube. Right in front is Runkfist, but he's being tied up and poked on the play by Lidster. Elderbrink. The Canadians setting up that box. Still hanging on. Lube. Behind the net. Nilsson is there. Runkfist is in front. Nilsson with Runkfist in front. Still Nilsson now. Nilsson turning. Runkfist. And the jeers from the crowd, they want to see some shots on goal. They're not totally impressed with this power play. Erickson takes the shot. Lidster picks that one up. Shoots it along the boards. It'll be kept in by Eldebrink. Sutter couldn't get it out. Nilsson getting it back to Eldebrink. Eldebrink fakes the shot from the top of the circle. Lube getting a piece of that one. Tipped as far as the blue line. Nilsson tries to keep it in, and as he does, but Sutter goes over for it. Sutter flips it out of the zone very casually, and Svensson, with a change of line out there, takes a hit. 20 seconds on the penalty, and the Canadians now come back. Just under 16 minutes gone in the period. Not a lot of time left for Canada. Sturmvall decides to turn after he got the pass from Carlson. Juice to Strumvall puts it into Carlson the Canadians are back at full strength Strumvall runs into McInnes loses possession but it goes back to Juice the shot is way wide of the target the return shot is wide the Canadians now have possession and they work out Adams flips it in over the zone Erickson will get there first and shoot it out McKinnis for Canada. They trail by three. All the way into the corner to Iserman. He slams on the brakes, is looking to get the shot away or the pass. McKinnis was the intended receiver on that one. The Canadians now with Iserman in front. Behind the net. That's right there with Ritterwall clearing it away. The Canadians all around that goal. Iserman being shadowed by Eklund. That took a deflection, goes out of the zone to the red, uh, the red line, and McInnes picks it up. Both teams trying to get fresh legs out there. Less than three minutes remaining in the game. It's been a good comeback by Canada, but they're running out of time right now. Johansson being shadowed and tied up by Green. Face off here, the play has slowed up a little bit. Good action, fast pace for most of this period. Both teams are starting to show the wear and tear of it. 6 3 is the score. The Canadians have got to get themselves back into it in a hurry. Well, if it stays like this, the Swedes will pick up silver and the Czechs will go for bronze. We already know that the Soviets have won the gold. Petit 
That's that one forward. Craven is looking for that loose puck, but he decides to go for the man instead. Head hunting out there was Craven. The loose puck for Tockett. And he can't hang on to it. The Canadians have to take it out with Petit turning just in front of his own blue line. McCoon moves along the boards. Tockett, a nice poke check there on Runkfist. Over to the far side. The Swedes will be happy to run this clock down as Samuelson now gets it along the boards. Two minutes to go in the game. The Swedes lead by three as they drop it back and work right in on Essensa. Canada now looking for this quick break. They've got Fleury out there. Craven. The Canadians. Fleury gets around Juice and pops it over to Gilmore. Gilmore back in the corner. Recky takes a hit. Fleury comes in to help out. There's going to be a penalty on the play. They're starting to mix it up in the corner. Bogman is skating over to the penalty box. Let's take a look at this again. Flurry going after that loose puck. He's being held here all the way to the boards. You can see his arms are up in the air. Now the ref reacts. Definitely a holding call. There's a lot of action after it, though. Flurry turns around with an elbow of his own. So Dios, number four, the big defenseman, goes into the box. He gets four. Flurry gets two. But they've run out of time. He's not happy with that call. And the Canadians do not feel they're getting a fair shake from Buckland, the Swiss referee. But to be fair, the Swedes have done the damage out there, not the referee. The Swedes have played well. Still, it's Canada with the pressure on now. Cullen in the corner being shadowed by Rungfist. Gets it behind the net. The Canadians go racing for it with less than a minute to go here in the game. And Fleury is performing in the penalty box. You're unbelievable! Saying that the referee is unbelievable. And this is starting to go sour. Recky with blood coming out of his face goes over to tell the referee to get in the game. He's having a good go at the ref. There's the grab by Samuelson. Well, if that's not a penalty, what is? My Lord. Sorry to say, but this is not American football. That is definitely holding if I've ever seen it. Loglin looked like he doesn't have a clue out there what's going on. He's the man with the stripes on. He's supposed to have control of this. Look at that, blood! There's blood! What do you gotta do, cut the guy's head off? Timeout being called here. And the Canadians slightly frustrated here at not having a penalty being called when Recky was grabbed and thrown and cut on the play. Cohen having words along with Gilmore. 6-3 is the score, but as I said before, it really hasn't uh, been the official who has been the determining factor in this game. It's been the Swedish team. They played well for two periods, had a five-goal lead at one stage. After the first period, it was three. And then quickly into the second, they scored two. And the Canadians have just started to come back. That shot, time ticking away as McCoon dumps it in. That's going to be tapped out by Elderbrink. Time running out for Canada. Runkfist will shadow his man. Tipped up into the neutral zone. The shot wide of the target coming from Gilmore. Elderbrink will pick it up and keep the play moving. 
McKinnis with 15 seconds. McKinnis takes a shot. And the Swedes are all but standing around. That one goes right in front. Another shot. And this time, they start to mix it up. Eisenman right in front of the net. This is in the net. Let's watch this. So many distractions out there with the punching and shoving. One swipe at the cherry. And that one's in the far corner right inside the post. You can see what happened. No problem watching that. Elderbrink was down on the ice. Gilmore gave him a shot. Elderbrink came up with a shot of his own. There's the slap shot from the point. Steve Eiserman's in front. One rebound on the backhand. The second one on the forehand. He scores the goal. Gilmore comes in late. This is what causes all the problems here. Gilmore and Elderbrink. From there you see McKinnis coming in. Everybody gets involved. There's Gilmore in front of the net. There's Eiserman's goal. Gilmore's elbow. Elderbrink's punch. It all goes from there. Hack and Lube decides to grab a man. He's got a big choice to make. He either grabs McKinnis or McCoon, neither one of which I'd want to grab a hold of. Now McCoon comes in with the big left hand, and it's going to take a while to sort this one out. 6-4. The Canadians have come back strong in this period with Adams, Fleury, and Eiserman scoring, but uh, I have a feeling it's too late. There goes the buzzer to end the third and final period. The final score, Sweden 6, Canada 4. Sweden have captured silver. And the Czechs go for bronze. A good finish by Canada, but too late. A good finish for the Swedes. They really put it together and held on. A good disciplined performance from them. They started.